So, so far we went over using that shape for major seven, minor seven, and dominant seven. So, one last little thing to kind of finish this up is that you can actually play a scale with this thing. Little trick. Go back to G minor seven. This is kind of the easiest way to make it work. G minor seven. Think about the notes of a G minor pentatonic scale, which of course everybody knows is G, B flat, C, D, F, right? Of course you know that. You can do the G minor pentatonic scale harmonized with this fourth chord the whole way. There's the notes of the pentatonic scale. Now if you really want to be persnickety, I saw what I did. Right here, when you have the fifth on top, I did kind of play a four note structure there and I got that B natural. That really shouldn't be in G minor. If you really want to be precise, go to a three note structure on that. And be really articulate with your pick, but instead of four strings, three strings. Or if you notice, they also went to pick and fingers to get those three tones. So once again, I'm taking a notes of the G minor pentatonic scale and harmonizing with that fourth chord. And again, when I got there with the fifth on the top, I just kind of avoided that B natural. Although in the heat of battle, nobody's going to really notice that. All right? I mean, did, did the B natural bother you? Didn't bother me. Of course, in passing, you're not really going to notice that note. And so you notice what I did there? I was just jamming with the notes of the G minor pentatonic scale with the fourth underneath. Right, Brad? Sure. Check it out. It's not cheap. Sounds good. You know what I'm saying? No reason that you can't save a little labor on that, right? Using that same shape to move around and play melodies. Almost kind of a little bit chord melody. Sounds a little bit Benson-esque, right? Here's the other trick. You can actually turn this into a blues scale, add the flat five in there. See what I did? Just added the passing flat five there. And now you got the whole blues scale, and you can play a lot of cool riffs with that. I freaked out when I saw somebody doing that. I saw a really famous jazz guitar player doing that at a NAMM show, and I'm going to just leave their name out of it uh, because they're actually a very, very simple player. And I remember that really tripped me out, like, whoa, that's how you do that? That is so simple. Not to take away from that guy. He was a great player, but I'll just leave that nameless for now. there guys. So you can use that for funky pop stuff, you can use it for jazz style chord melody. Remember that once again, use these things in combination with other devices, right? So <laughs> using a whole bunch of other inversions and a diminished chord in there in conjunction with the fourth chord, Maybe all of a sudden West Montgomery doesn't seem like so much of a mystery. Although, yeah, he is still, isn't he? But, uh, so, hey, why don't you guys fool around with that fourth chord, and there's a lot of stuff there. Just remember, for the major chord, use it with the root on top, nine on top, fifth on top. For a dominant seven chord, root on top, fifth on top, flat seven on top. Minor seven chord, flat three on top, four on top, and flat seven. Actually, I did a lot more than that, didn't I? I kind of got to the scale, then I talked about using three note structures. So you're, if you're creative and expand on this, you can find even more ways to use it. Just one little small thing I want to point out. I was articulating three note and four note structures with this thing. Sometimes four notes, sometimes just three notes with the top three strings, or the four, three, two strings. So you can get two different melody notes. So doing that with the pick or with pick and fingers, you can get even more melody movement. Back to the minor seven chord. 
Right there, I brought out the melody. Okay, so there you go. You guys have a good time experimenting with that. And if you learn any licks, make sure you get on YouTube and show them to me. I'll see you next time.